Okay, we're back. And now we're going to do part two. Here's, oh, here's a today's call. Bus hits bus in the yard. We have an operator that was uh, trying to park her bus and um, made contact with another bus here in the yard. Ah, uh, that's today. Okay, which track do they all on? Oh, that was 18. No, that was yesterday. <laughs> I'm so far behind. I don't know what today and tomorrow. Yeah. That was yesterday. <laughs> and it's not today. Um, and apparently a line 54 operator was just spit on. And that was 18 hours ago. Let's get the exact time of that. That was 5.09 East Coast time, August 8th. Okay. 7340, the masks, the masks, the masks. We have 7340. They were calling. They're having a problem with passenger about masks. There we go My again. partner there we go again. can't there seem again. to finish the conversation. I don't know if we lost communication with him or not, but he's heading to the foster layover right now. He's due there at 1940 till 2025. Hobo, God bless you, you goddamn pussy grabbing, money whoring, <clears throat> Satan worshiping president. Us stupid Americans love you. Although, in this one case, I think he did it, folks. In this one case, he might have done something good. Democrats are obstructing all of it. Therefore, I'm taking executive action we've had it and we're going to save american oh, jobs and provide <laughs> relief to the american workers first of all oh god i'm gonna listen to him donald trump if re-elected i will ter terminate social security of course he will trump just admission he yeah of course he is he's a republican he's following the fucking republican playbook you morons you stupid morons you you just love him because he's so uh He's, he's the exact opposite of a liberal, and he, you like that he's grotesque and that he he curses and he, he acts like a child man like you are. He's stupid like you, so you, you support him. Okay, I don't understand. They don't care. Couples or, or whatever it is, but people are getting on and looking around and then getting... I haven't heard from him in a while. Uh, people get bored with try, man. You know, I don't blame them. Oh, look. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, look, man. Stay off the fucking TriMet, okay? If you go on the TriMet, you're on your own, okay? Don't look to the driver. Don't look to the passengers. You gotta, you know, you're gonna, you want to go out on the buses with the bus people. You know who the bus people are? The bus people are actually species of people. And I don't recommend you have low tolerance for stupidity. 7247, police, wine, will be able to, what? Come on, Rip City, what's that? Hey, 7247. Um, so I just spoke with police. They're probably not going to be able to respond for a long time. So you may as well just head back to the garage and fill out your paperwork. Uh, you called the extra service on, uh, on 734, but I'm still at 7247. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot he um, changed the buses. Did you get the text about the report as well? I sure did, and I instructed the operator when he called you to make sure he asked for the asset number when he got back to the garage. <laughs> okay, now what's this? Next. Hello, 7247. Um, so I just called police back. They're not going to be able to respond oh, yes. for quite a while. So you may as well just go ahead and go back to the garage and fill out your paperwork. Copy that. I will head to the garage right now. Yeah. All right. And I heard that I sent the asset number to the wrong operator, so I'll send that to you right now. Thank you. Might have been Thank you. Are you okay? Uh, well, whatever. Something like this happens, you always get a little shook out. But I'm okay. Mm -hmm. That is true. Well, you did a good job handling it, so thank you. Have a good night, What happened? 
trying to get out of Sandy and he couldn't. I don't want to do it right now, Sandy. We'll find the call. You can cancel passenger off the bus. Okay, I copy. Do you know where he got off at? Sandy. Uh, 42nd. Okay, yeah, 42nd and Sandy. Okay, wait. He crawled on. Like passenger on 1201, vehicle 3521. Um, not given much information other than he doesn't want police. Uh, passengers had to help him on the bus. Um, the uh, driver's running about six minutes late. He just left Park Rose TC. Um, was due at... Uh, uh, yeah, a man lying in the road, not conscious. Dig out the dick. Uh, 5773? The ditch, the ditch. Hello, 5773, I got your priority. What's going on? I am at TV Highway in the Sunset Esplanade stop. There is somebody, um, partially at the roadway. Uh, he's not conscious. 
So you may want to send uh, medical out here. Um, I don't know if he's asleep or if he's passed out. Um, I'm not getting out of my bus, but I've blown my horn and he's not waking up. Did you say he's partially in the street? He's, in, he's at the bus stop, but his legs are in the, in the road. He's off of the curb. Okay, can you give me a description of him, please? Hispanic male, he's got white tennis shoes, black pants, uh, blue t-shirt. Poor guy. Go ahead, go ahead, got some line with Goey. 667, how can I help? Yeah, hey, there's a silver, um, <laughs> mini, or uh, crossover SUV, and it's parked, uh, forward of the no parking sign. It makes it a little difficult for the buses to get into this busy spot. Uh, girl, you're on top of it. 1506. Masks. 1508. Good morning, 1508. How can I help you? Oh, we're having an incident on here with one gentleman who's refusing to wear a mask. Oh, and others have asked him nicely. It's gotten out of hand a couple times. Um, oh, oh. Some of the passengers have asked for police because of profanity and just the negativity, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so passengers have asked for police because he's cussing and refusing to wear a mask? No, it's the others that are asking for police because of the man who's refusing to wear the mask. Hi, Poppy. And do you think this warrants the call for police? Is he like, threatening them or, you know, threatening you or doing anything else besides being... I can't take it anymore. You know, difficult? No, but the call itself just got him off, which is pretty much what I thought would happen. Sorry to bother you. You are not bothering me. I just, please, you know, so you don't want to respond because I'm not wearing a mask or cussing, you know, stuff. But I knew that you could handle it. So I'm glad that he got off, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. You too, my darling. Thank you. Need all. Shoot him up, shoot him up, shoot him up. 7234. Shoot him up, shoot him up, shoot him up. 7243. Looks like you're almost at 82nd and max. Shoot him up, shoot him up. Someone left some unopened needles on one of the seats, and... I just wanted to turn to let you guys know and what one of the other customers picked him up and told him the trash can. Alright, copy. Well, we can have a supervisor to come and meet you. Okay, that's good. 4467, that's a false alarm. There are no false alarm delivery. It's just a leader in technology. Always like hearing a leader in technology. 5469. Hello, 5469. Your covert alarm went off. We're just calling to make sure that you're okay. We know you were on a deadhead. So I'm assuming. You know you're deadheading, so it's not. 5469, that would be affirmative. I did the exact same bus, did the exact same thing to me last week. Okay, I copy. And did you by chance write a work card up for it that day? Did it just happen one time? Oh. 5469, that's affirmative. It just happened the one time, but the police were called, and I was out of Washington Square, and it was a lot of fun. Okay, I copy. Well, I'll write There's it down, and so There's if it goes up again, um, you know, we'll make sure that we write something up. But if you could still write a card on it, just saying that twice now it's happened, you didn't press it, it went off. Yeah, write a card, you know. Why would anything work right there? 867. Well, Where's the bathroom? Yeah, they no longer have a park body down by the uh, layover behind the Jack in the Box off of Columbia. It, uh, it has to be the way it is from now on. They want to put yeah, Trump on my list. I believe they took it off because it's been vandalized too many times. So, your other choices are on your hard copy reroute. Uh, Stop. And you can go to, um, looks like Bay Sage, quick where I go. 
Remember Deacon Mark on the 8th? Back before they gentrified over there, the Deacon Mark had crack pipes in the bathroom. Scanner Star, who is it, Mike? 1705 at Southwest 5th and Taylor. 1705, how can I help? I just want to give you a heads up. There is a small puddle of oil uh, here at the first position of this stop. I'm not sure uh, which bus it is, but there's a bus leaking somewhere. First position of your stop on 5th at Salmon, is that correct? Taylor. Okay, part two. You still there? I sure am. Alrighty, it's about two and a half feet long and about 16 inches wide. Two and a half feet long, 16 inches wide, and it's a puddle. Okay, um, you're probably going to see a message on your CAD. Have you checked for leaks? I did this morning. I it's not scanner. 6268. Yes, good morning. This is 6268. Uh, my passengers were saying that there's no, uh, okay. there's no hand sanitizer in the back area. Is there a way I can get that refilled? Maybe at Millican Way or Sunset? I don't know what you guys have planned. Okay. Well, we don't normally have, uh, Trump had on the weekend, they're the ones that have it, um, but we do have one because of the steel bridge incident, but they're downtown, so I'll see if they have some, and if they do, we'll have to bring them from downtown, so it might be a little bit, but if we do have some, we'll have them meet you somewhere on route, and get that refilled for you, okay? Yeah, that'd be great, thank you very much, and you're right, yeah, didn't, today is my Monday for this week, so didn't even realize Saturday, you're absolutely correct, anything you can do, that'd be great for them, thank you. 7243 drinking on the bus, pissed on the side of the bus, and kicked the door. 7243. 7243. Catch you on Killingsworth at 60th, going to the Clackamas Town Center. Got a loud verbal from you? What's going on? Yes, sir. I just uh, made a couple of guys get off because they were drinking on the bus, and he pissed on the side of the bus and kicked the door. <laughs> Copy that. Uh, they turn off the bus and they urinate, urinate on the side of the bus and also kick the door. Any damage to the door? No. The most damage is a small T right now. Alright, copy that. Well, I'm glad it's outside your bus and not inside. Um, so we can't roll with that. Um, I'll have you just make a uh, work car out for it just to maybe give a little extra special attention to that when it gets back to the garage tonight. Make sure it's all cleaned up. Copy that. Um, Thank you. Um, I, okay, that's fine. Um, I wouldn't let anyone else pick him up because he is very irate and he will, he was already making threats to the full bus drivers that they'll get there, so. All right, can you get a description of him for me? Uh, the louder verbal one was, uh, he's carrying a uh, blanket with a bag with beer in it. He a man with a blanket, they're the most dangerous of all. Ones that carry blankets. He's about mm, 55, 60 years old. Scuffy. 60 years old with a blanket, with beard. They're disposed. No way anymore. Good for us. 468 said you didn't stop at Rose Quarter. 468 to a side. 468. Supervisor called and said you didn't stop at the Rose Quarter. Are you um, confused by the reroute directions? Yes, I got it. I came back. I came back. I just, I just doing now the right way. So I'm sorry. I was not in the last week. So I'm doing now. Okay, I copy. Thanks for letting me know. Be clear at nine nineteen. Thank you very much. Okay, he's doing it now. He's doing it. Slamming items on the floor, talking out loud. Copy loud and throwing items around. Yes, see you throwing them at people. <laughs> no, he's just slamming his items on the floor, like really loud, and just talking really, really loud. Oh, okay, but no threatening actions towards anyone. 
No, not yet, but that's, that's why I called, just to make sure I got it. Oh, he's getting off the back door. Okay, thank you. Mm. All right, I'll stay with you. Just uh, let me know when you're off the bus here. But... He's gone. Oh, I haven't heard too many pass-ups anymore since they changed that. Come on. Hey, 7243. I got your pass-up on oh, that I got a handset not working. Um, is that possibly a, a missend of the message? Can you hear me now? Affirmative. I can hear you just fine. Can you copy dispatch? Uh, copy. I did get your pass up overload. Is your handset working okay? Can you copy dispatch? I can hear you. I'm just wondering if you can hear me. Uh, affirmative. So I'll just disregard this handset not working message we got. And uh, thanks for sending that pass up overload. You have a good rest of your day. I got, uh, we may need another bus though for this because the pass up, especially at the 82nd, is Kind of deep. Whoa. Copy that. About how many people you have to leave on the side of the road there. All right, copy. I'll see how much room is on your follower. And if uh, they're not. Fail. And here's a no trucks on the weekend. 244, how can I help? Well, unfortunately, we do not have trucks on the weekends. So the only thing we can do is write a work card on it so they. We have a truck on the weekends, I was just told. It's awesome. I will get somebody to help you out. Yeah, thank you, because I saw one at uh, North Terminal when I was there this morning. That's right. His, yeah, he's there because of the, the steel bridge closure. Okay, perfect. We'll have him fill up that. I mean, it's set. really incredible that that happens if they don't have a, they don't want to pay for it, you know. It's just incredible to me that it's allowed to go on. And here we go with the All doors. Right, um, don't work. Here we go with the let's doors. Let's see. So if you turn the bus in the off position and release the air to the doors, let it relax, and then turn the air back on, then try to start. The so ridiculous. A 68, fall off the bus. Eight, 868, we're inside a second. Outbound. 868, how can I help you? Hi, um, I was looking for the right one to send for the message, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't remember what it was. But anyways, a customer stopped off, stepped off my bus at um, 6th and Burnside, and she fell when she stepped off the bus. I asked her if she was okay. She got up, and she said she was fine, and she walked off. Um, so, but I just wanted to make sure I was following the procedure with what to do. Well, yeah. Yes, you yeah. you do want to call that in uh, as we want to do an um, incident report. Uh, um, no, but in the, the future, you need to call dispatch from the stop that it happens. So I see that you're on um, second. Next time, make sure that you call from Six and Burnside if it happened at Six and Burnside and wait to talk to me before you roll. Okay, there was another bus at the stop there, and I was kind of out in the in, in, I felt like in kind of a bad position, so I thought maybe I should roll to another stop, but should I have just stayed there anyways? Yes, whenever you have any type of incident that you need to call into dispatch, you need to stay where the incident happened. Why don't they know that? Isn't that like something you would be in training as in? Don't they train you in that at all? Okay, 8130. 8130, 936, got the doors closed, and they are rolling. So you can be clear of that. And I have something else for you when you're ready. Copy that. I'm on the freeway right now. Let me get to a settled place, and I'll just try it back in. No worries. It's a bus that's going to be at North Terminal at 1040. So if you want to just head... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Customer conduct, 5774. 5774. 5774, um, customer conduct, the argument, uh, between, uh, this theory coming in and then the guy that needs to be moved from the seat and then the arguing. But right now, one customer step up on the bus already. It's at the uh, transit. So they're no longer arguing, there's no problem on your bus, you can roll. Okay, so one customer already should be okay for now. 
Uh, just wanted to do no. Yeah. All right, copy. Uh, 1036. Can't understand what she's saying. Silent alarm. So it goes from yeah, nothing. Else. Nothing. Seven six seven seventy one piss bus. Okay, we got seventy six seventy one on Greenberg headed towards Tiger Transit Center. I have a lady with a walker, and she is. Filling the bus full of urine smell. <laughs> Can I get some help? Help? You need a new bus? Copy that. Uh, do we believe she has an active biohazard on her person, or just she just smell like urine? Did you see anything on her pants, or notice anything she's moving seats? Black pants. I looked, couldn't tell. Just very strong. Can hardly breathe with it. Copy that. Uh, did they have any particular destination? I don't know their destination. All right, copy that. Well, they're already on the bus. The bus is already polluted. You might as well get them where they're going. You can't kick some woman off with a walker in the middle of nowhere. Are you okay rolling to Tiger Transit Center? And we kind of assess the situation there. Might be able to have a supervisor reach you as well. That yeah, would be great. Thank you. All right, there you go. The vaccine has grim prediction. Yeah, we're all dead. Why the gig economy is a scam. What's this one? Everything is everything is a fucking scam, all right? I don't need to read that. Every, everything is a scam. What's not a scam? Our entire existence is a scam. 9121, he's still with police. 9108, driving back to the bus. Oh, is this a spitting incident? I don't know. 9020. Hey, 9121 just gave me a call. I'm at Barber TC, um, and he they're still with police. He asked me if um, I might be willing to go get that operator or um, go help them out. Um, I'm going to call them back for more details, but, um, yeah, I'm wondering if I should do that. Yeah, if 9121 is still talking with police, uh, 9108 is driving the bus back to Merlot, and he needs a ride from Merlot back to his car. Right, totally. Now I get it. Uh, yes, I will uh, head out to Merlot and bring uh, that supervisor back to his vehicle. Thank you. I appreciate that. And 9121, did you copy? Uh, yep. All right, two guys with two rocks hit the back of my buzz. 7334, go ahead. While I was at my layover, uh, there was a guy carrying two rocks. He hit the um, shelter a couple times and then hit the back of my bus and then took off. Uh, he did cause a little bit of damage in the back of my bus. Okay, uh, did you get a description of him at all? I can't tell what race he is, but because he had a mask, he has a black mask, and a black hoodie that's covering most of his face, and uh, sagging blue jeans. And he was last seen going right on 92nd. All right, you know he was male, unknown race. Why is that a uh, Do you have a guesstimate as to age or anything, hair color? Like I said, the hoodie and the mask pretty much covered everything, but, I mean, he kind of looked like he had maybe slanted eyes, uh, and I would suggest he, he can't be that old, uh, maybe 30 at most. I have no idea. Um, they're all doing stuff, so I'll give them the information, and they'll get up to you somewhere in route. Just keep an eye open for the supervisor's car. All right, no problem. Thank you. Uh, will I have an asset number and a report to fill out? Yes, you will. 7701 Medical. 7701 at 9th and Halsey. 7701, did medical arrive? 
Yes, sir. Paramedics here got it under control. Ambience arrived about five minutes ago, and they're boarding them up, and they're clear as far as they're concerned. They don't need me for anything. I copy that. Uh, did you have me get the AMR number? You mean on the ambulance? Yes. AMR number. You mean the, amp the number on the ambulance vehicle? Yeah. Affirmative. So it should be three digits. Yes, sir. It's 694. I copy. Um, none of our extras were free at the moment, so I'm going to have you do this. Let's run this late, and then I'm going to have an extra service start your next trip out of Troutdale on time. And after you've taken a break there, just send it ready for service. We'll get you cut in somewhere. Copy that. Thank you very much. Thank you, and... Okay. Leader in technology. Yeah, this is 1505. Uh, this bus has got some serious problem. Uh, I can't log into the thing without shutting itself off every about minute and a half. And I was hoping you guys could swap this bus out for something that isn't having this dramatic of problems. It's more than just one or two little things. 1405. Okay, so you listed that the cat is booting you out of which block or your operator? The bus is not operating correctly. The cat is not staying logged on. I'm lucky I'm on it this long, to be honest with you, because it's shutting itself off. And then I have to re-log back in and try to get the uh, pass it on. Out over there and having no volume, it's making extremely loud volume. Oh, there is just, oh, the, oh, it's torture. The torture will continue. Okay, that's what I was trying to ask. Is it locking you out of the block? Oh, scary stuff. Is it locking piece, out piece. off your operator number? Is the whole thing shutting down? Terry, They're trying to get us to be more scary. specific with what's going on with the buses. Okay, well, I didn't hear some of it because it's coming and going. But yeah, the whole system completely shuts down. Like I'm saying, okay. Let me call maintenance and see if they'll author. Alrighty. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me just take a look at this real quick. Mike Pence is a vampire, and as a vampire, he's not typically allowed in churches. But if it's a TV set that just looks like a church, apparently that's okay. The reason I want to be an analyst. Okay. Wake-up call for pro-life voters around the country who understand, in a very real sense, the destiny of the Supreme Court is on the ballot. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, you know, I'm, I'll be honest with you, part of me wants Trump to win because he'll finally... Bring down this shit call shit show called America, and he's going to bring it down right on his supporters' heads. And they're already the red states are already like the highest number of evictions and shit. So they're going to get what they voted for, you know. Anything, anything but liberals, and they, they'd rather be dead. And so that's exactly what they're going to get. They're just like the Germans during Nazi Germany. They they would support Hitler all the way into the grave, and that's exactly what they did. And that's how it ends for the people like that. Customers spitting all over and threatening. Okay, all right, okay. And is he he's still there on the ramp? Finish your 46, are you okay? Okay, I can call for police. Uh, are they touching him? Or is, come on, come on, I can't. Is he being physically taken out? the other side of the car. Uh, slightly, he's off. He was spitting everywhere. He's got some shit all in the bus. Come on, Scott, that's why. All right, uh, let me see. Or, is he off the bus now? Is he off the bus right now? Oh, he's at 2400. Yeah, he is off the bus. He must have really skipped through these. Okay, and is everybody okay? If you can get those doors closed and ramp up uh, so we can't get back on. Um, <laughs> I just want to confirm that everyone is all right. Yes, I just double checked if everybody there okay. Uh, making sure nobody got spit on. He was getting a little wild there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and thank you for listening. It's going crazy out, out in the world. No, yeah, that's why I'm here. Um, I just want to double check. Oh, yeah, no, uh, not accepting so any applications. Only capital. Okay, I'll be here out until...
Okay, this this is your last. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, you go to my Um, I'm gonna look to see the possibly get you a trade. Um, mm -hmm. does it look like there's a bunch of spit on the bus? Um, so I'm not not to look. I mean, uh, close the door and get my roll. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll. Uh, let me know when you get to the airline if you need a trade, if you have any uh, bio on the bus. Okay, copy that. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, 23.49. All right, 1239. A lot of verbal fighting on the bus. 1269. Yeah, Hello, 1269. I got your loud verbal. We have one on? I have two people fighting on my bus. <laughs> All right. Are they physically fighting or arguing? Yelling, screaming, and won't listen to me. Okay. Uh, can I get a description of them? And do you, are you stopped with your doors open? I'm stopped now. The doors are open. I'm in front of Safeway. Um, uh, it's mainly one person is the agitator. Okay, can I get a description of that? Two um, African American males, um, blue Adidas sweatpants, black tennis shoes, okay. um, blue jacket with a baseball cap. All right. Um, <coughs> Have you asked them to leave? Yes, I think it's happening. So Yeah, just push up. Okay, we're done, we're done. Okay, he left. Okay. And the other person, are they still on board or are they quiet? Quiet. They didn't they didn't do anything. It's just the other person. All right, perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and roll. And I hope you have a lucky event tonight. Thank you. All right. And here's protesters. I'm not going to go out. Yeah, this is 467 on North Albina and Ainsworth, and we have a demonstration going on right now. Uh, they're walking and moving, going westbound on North Ainsworth. But it looks like it'd be a couple more minutes before I can get through, just to let you know. All right, copy that, Ed. No problem. Okay, so what, what was the time on that one? Looks like he got the 24. He must have really done a quick scan here. And the ditch. 1701, I'm just calling to let you know that there's a man laying in the street. He was bruised and had some blood coming out of his legs and knees. Mm -hmm. There are neighbors there that said they were contacting uh, the police to get some help, maybe an ambulance. He was out of sorts, but uh, there were people there trying to help him. I'm just calling to let you know that if you can keep an eye on it to see if it would block the way because... Uh, tight roads. It was at 27th and Jarrett that this man was laying down on the ground. Again, neighbors were calling the police and ambulance to get help for him. Copy that. All right. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, we'll see what we can find out. Thank you. Thank you. At 22.58. Okay. I guess that's it, huh? I guess that's what he's going to cover for yesterday. I guess he went to the large ones. And on that note, that was 38 minutes. That's, we'll just call it quits and call it good.